If you're a regenerative farmer, you know it's crucial to move your cattle to fresh pasture every day. But these daily moves can be tedious, tiring, and time-consuming. That's why we've found two ways to simplify your grazing plan. We've tried them out so you don't have to, and we're thrilled with the results. Stay tuned to find out our favorite new solutions to streamline daily cattle moves and save time in your busy day. Let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Donna Kilpatrick. I'm the ranch manager and land steward at Heifer Ranch. Today we're going to show you some technology we've incorporated with our cow herd with an automatic solar powered gate lifter. So many of the pastures at the ranch are large, they're open, and as you know, we move our cows once a day, sometimes twice a day. We're trying to move towards twice a day. That's a lot of labor setting up fence every day for an open field. So we decided to invest in this equipment to see if we couldn't increase our efficiencies with managing cattle and increase the positive impact that they're having on our land. First, we implemented a new system that can completely automate our daily cattle moves and save our livestock team hours of labor. So what we're looking at today is called a Pensagro Polywire Solar Gate Lifter. This system consists of a solar-powered mechanism on a pole, which we schedule to raise and lower at optimal times. We then clip the poly wire that we use for temporary fencing onto this mechanism. When the mechanism raises, it lifts the attached poly wire, opening a path for the cattle to cross into the next paddock. So we found that we can set this up and it, the automatic gate opens and the cows move themselves. If our goal is to move these cows, the steers twice a day, then what it saves us is somebody coming down around noon and opening the gate and closing the gate and making sure the steers all get in. This system may seem high tech at first, but our livestock team has found that it's relatively easy to set up and customize. So the operation of this technology is super, super simple. There's an on off switch and there's a button on the underneath that sets your time and then gives you options. So you can open the gate 24 hours a day. You can also close the gate 24 hours a day. So it took a little bit of trial and error. And one of the things that we found was originally we used one Pensagro lifter. So that made a tent. The cows hated it. They were seeing the slant of the line in their peripheral vision and it was too scary they know that they're going to get shocked if they hit that line. So we brought in the two lifters, which made more of a gate. They weren't as scared at all to go through that. There was a little bit of a training process involved. I would say it took about a week of practice and some coaxing from us. So we'd stand on the side where they were currently at. And then as the gate lifted, we'd call them and walk ahead of them. In the training period, when we were having the steers come through, uh, we just left it open for a couple of hours and then dropped it because there'd always be laggers that were a little bit hesitant to come through the gate. The Pensagro has a beeping right before the lift. It sort of conditions the steers to know that when they hear that beeping, they know they're getting fresh pasture and they're gonna move. Still not sure whether this technology is right for your ranch? Here are a couple of other features we love about the Pensagro gate lifter. Yeah, so one thing that we really like about this system is that it's super flexible. If we want to have it, the gate lift on a Saturday when no one's available to come down or a Sunday when we're limited staff, we can set that up. Depending on what your goal is in the grazing, if you want them to be able to back graze to water, you can set this so that the, the bridge stays open and it doesn't close. So the cows can always go back to a water source or if you want additional trampling and impact in the area that they've already grazed. You do have to set it up in advance, so you need to think about where the steers are going next. The flexibility is just incredible. Do you want even more flexibility in your grazing setup? Check out the next new system we've implemented this year, which simplifies and speeds up paddock moves for our ruminants. And stick around until the end of this video to find out how you can get 10% off when you purchase these tools for your farm. So this is another piece of technology, grazing equipment that we're trying. This is called a Gallagher Tumble Wheel. It's made by Gallagher Company. And this system makes it even easier to move our cattle twice a day. The Tumble Wheel system consists of the regular poly wire we use for temporary fencing, threaded through large six-pronged wheels. When it's time to move paddocks, one person unhooks the poly wire from the temporary post where it's attached. As they walk forward to the next temporary post, the wheels tumble forward, shifting the entire line and expanding the paddock. What we've been doing is moving one side of the tumble wheel in the morning 
and the other side of the tumblewheel in the afternoon. If you have permanent perimeter fencing in your pastures, this system is super easy to set up. But if you primarily use temporary fencing, listen up, because Donna and the livestock team have figured out exactly how to make this system work for you. So it took some trial and error to figure out how we were gonna set up this tumblewheel system in an open pasture. Since we don't have any permanent fencing in this area, we were utilizing T-post. So we decide where our next move is, we pound a T-post really quickly into the ground so you can't tie into a poly post because it's metal. So we put a pigtail in front of it and then just move the line there and click in. We also put an orange bucket on the top of the post just so when we're walking, we can see where we're going. So on this fence that we're looking at, we actually are using two solar chargers. One for our perimeter fence that runs the length of this pasture and then one on the tumble wheel attached to the T-post that the tumble wheel is clipped into. The charger on the tumble wheel electrifies the line as well as all of the prongs sticking off of the tumble wheel except the two that are grounded on the ground. Today's really hot and the cows aren't ready to move because they're out in the shade, but often they're right on our heels. So you want to make sure to keep the fence tight, the tumble wheel's turning, and know where you're going. Sometimes the first tumble wheel, as you move it, scooches down some. So with the fence off, we can walk down and set it back in place. So now that we have a new line in place, the last thing to do is to walk back, get your solar charger, attach it, and you're ready to go. So Donna, what's the verdict on the tumble wheels? So, so far we love the tumble wheel system. It's working really well, as I said, in several of our big open pastures. Like the fence lifter, there's been a little bit of a learning curve. I would say the steers got used to the tumble wheel more rapidly than the lifter, but it's been great. We've really enjoyed this. And I think for, for people that have the right type of ranch and have large areas that they're trying to graze their cows, this is a perfect system that will really speed up how much time you're putting into setting up fencing, moving the cows, etc. But how much does it cost? That depends on the size of your operation. Larger pastures will require more tumble wheels, spaced evenly across the width of the paddock. In this pasture, we're using 10 tumble wheels. Each tumble wheel costs about 97 US dollars, meaning our set of 10 cost $970 before tax. The price is a bit high, but the quality, durability, and ease of using this system are well worth the cost for our operation. The tumble wheels are made of sturdy and light aluminum, which not only makes them reliable and easy to move, but also allows each prong to carry an electric charge. Because this system is compatible with the polywire, solar chargers, and T-posts we already have at the ranch, we didn't need to purchase any additional equipment to implement this system. The Pensagro Gatelifter is more affordable, with each unit priced at $370 US dollars. This includes the solar-powered mechanism and the pole it sits on. We're again using our standard polywire, so there's no additional expense. As Donna said, we've had more success using two gate lifter units instead of one, bringing our total cost to $740 before tax. Though both of these systems require an investment at first, they are absolutely worth the cost for our livestock operations here at Heifer USA. Rather than spending an hour moving individual T-posts, pigtail posts, and polywire to create new paddocks, the tumble wheels allow us to give our steers access to fresh forage in under five minutes. The Pensagro gate lifter is even more convenient, allowing us to move cattle automatically without even leaving the house. So if you're interested in purchasing either of these products, check out the links in the description. And be sure to use our coupon code, HEIFERUSA, for all purchases on the Gallagher website. Whether you are investing in tumble wheels or ordering extra fencing supplies, this coupon code will give you a 10% discount on all purchases. Also, if you have these products and you're using them on the, your ranch, we'd love to hear your feedback and give us suggestions on how to make our systems better. Keep learning about rotational grazing with Heifer USA. Check out this video for a deep dive into our holistic planned grazing practices, or this one where we test out another amazing piece of grazing technology.